Right, okay. So, uh, we've got, it's quite a complicated question this one. Diagram shows the dimensions of a tank in the shape of a cuboid. Uh, it says this cuboid is a third full of water. And we've also got a barrel over here which has got 18,000 centimeters cubed of water in. And we're going to put this water into here and it's going to fill up a little bit. And we want to find out how tall the tank will be. Okay, so first of all, let's find out how much is in the tank first. So the volume of the tank is 100 times 50 times 60. So I'm going to do 1 times 5 times 6. 1 times 5 is 5 times 6 is 30. And then I put that 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros onto that. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's, oh, it's 300,000. So that's just that looks like a decimal point. So let's take that out. So 300,000 centimeters cubed. So, well, it's only a third full. Well, that's easy. So there's only, so the water. The volume of the water is going to be, well, a third of that, so that's 100,000, that's made nice easy for us, plus we're going to add the water in, uh, well, let's do the 100,000, so if it's a third full, it's going to fill up to 60 centimetres, it's actually only going to fill up something like that, okay? So the water in the tank is going to look something like that. And this is only going to be a third full. It's only going to be 20 centimetres high. OK, so if there's any third full, that's how much water there is in to start with. And then we're going to put this extra water in, so the water's going to rise a little bit. And then we're going to put that extra 18,000 in, which gives us a total of 118,000. centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's that's how much water is in the tank. Is 118 centimeters, 118,000 centimeters cubed. We want to find out how far that goes up. We know the 100,000, we've got 20. This is going to go up a little bit more. It's not it's only going to fill it. It's only added a little bit in. So what we're going to do, um, if we work out the area of the base, kind of a bit like we did here, except it's not multiplied by the height, just do the area. It's going to be 100 centimetres times 50 centimetres, which is going to be 5,000 centimetres squared. So to work out what this is, to work out the volume of water, okay, is going to be 5,000 times something we times it by 60 before, but that was when it was full right to the top. When it's times by something, and we know the answer is not going to be 100,000, it's not 30, it's a bit more than that. It's going to be 118,000. Okay, so we want to work out what this is. So what I'm going to really do is, if I just divide this off so we can see what we're doing, what I really want to do is 118,000 divided by the 5,000. Okay, so I want to do that because that's going to help me work out what this is, and this is going to be the height. So this is the length and the width, the base, times some number is going to give it, which is the height, it's going to give us the volume overall. So you can see there's three zeros here, so I can cancel those straight away. So really, what I want to do is 118 divided by 5. So what I'm going to do is set up like before, 118, and I'm going to see how many fives go in, and then that's going to give me the height. So fives go into one, don't go with one left over. Fives go into 11 twice, that makes 10, and there's one left over. Fives into 18, go three times, and then we are left over, so I'm going to have to have a decimal of zero. So three fives of 15, I wanted to get to 18, so that means there's 
goes in three times with three left over, and then fives into 30 goes six. Rewind this bit if you need to check out how to do this division with this decimal. Fives go into that, so that means the height is going to be 23.6 centimetres high. Really quite tricky. Let's think about this one. Second bit is a follow up. So Tina find out the barrel contains less than 18,000 litres. So when we put this in, we're adding on not 18,000, but something smaller. So that means this water is going to go down. Explain what this is going to have to answer to A. Well, if you think about it, if it was 20 centimetres high and we put the water in, it went up 3.6 centimetres to make the height of 23.6 centimetres. If we put less water in, it's not going to rise so high. So, um, The depth of the water in the tank will be will be less as less water is added. Okay, so it's going to fill up less, it's going to be less than 3.6. So, yeah, this is a good tricky question. So I'll go back over this and look and see if you can follow what I've done with my calculations, particularly with this divide bit here. Okay, 